Hello everyone, this is Ty Williams here. Sasha Banks and Naomi walk out from the WWE, even dropping the titles, the tag team titles, on the taping and walking out. And there are lots of people are talking about it on Twitter, not only on Twitter, but in the wrestling world, in the wrestling media, and the wrestling community. Like, people was like, Sasha Bank walk out again, and this time she bringing Naomi with her. And speaking of Naomi, I read the tweets about, oh, Naomi is not like that. She always a trooper. She never walk out on the WWE. But when she team up with Sasha Banks, she have a backbone and the stand of herself. And she started to walk out along with Sasha Banks. First of all, Naomi was a veteran for a long time in WWE. And she did her best to be the peacemaker. She always get told what to do. And she do it. Yeah, she follow orders. But this time, she had enough. Like, she had, like, Naomi had enough with the WWE BS on her. Naomi is, like, one of the most underrated WWE superstar in the women's division. That woman got talent. That woman got the it factor. Like, she got the look. She got the swag. Um, but most, mostly, she's like most of, she, she is the most athletic woman in the wrestling business today. Like, she could do moves that it's just unique and that stands out. And since she's in WWE where her move set is limited because other women wrestlers cannot compare to her, cannot compete to her in her in ring abilities, that shows that WWE is not given a proper chance. For women like Naomi to show what she's got. And for her to start to see that and be like, you know what? I tried. I did my best. And I'm just going to put my foot down and stand up to WWE and just walk out with Sasha Banks. And even um, you heard about... Um, Naomi ex partner Adrian that uh Adrian from um Total Divas that black chick that black Chinese chick um like she she looked mix of something I know that she's black but she looked mix of something but um she but saying something that Naomi is not that type of person to walk out. Someone manipulating her. Um, that's not like her. She says that bunch of stuff on Twitter. And that got people like, girl. Like, girl, bye. That's her logo, too. <laughs> like, when she was in WWE, she said, girl, bye. Girl, bye. And she is a girl bot because the stuff she tweeted about Sasha Banks and the Naomi situation, it just like girl bot. Like you don't like I understand you know Naomi. I understand you ride for her, but come on now. You is over somewhere like in Hollywood or Somewhere in AEW, just eating your popcorn and just 
looking at certain uh, opportunities, which wherever you get, <laughs> and you just there, you know. But you guys, and I don't know if you still kept in touch, but I feel like Naomi is a grown woman. She got a mind of her own. No one cannot manipulate Naomi, you know. And speaking of Naomi, she she is a very strong um strong black woman. The way I see it when she in total divas and the way she carried herself with class, but that's the way I see it. But I feel like People is attacking Sasha Banks because Sasha Banks care about wrestling, very passionate about wrestling. She want wrestling to be better. Like people think that oh Sasha Banks, she's selfish, she's unprofessional. Um, she got all these opportunity and none of the girl doesn't have the opportunity. And a life luxury than her, and she need to keep her her um, attitude in check. Up, I'm like, excuse you, excuse you. You're not saying anything when Becky Lynch throw that title at Charlotte when they had the title and sh- a- a- a title exchange on SmackDown way back. I think last year or something. Y'all drag um, Charlotte to be unprofessional. Oh, she's unprofessional. She dropped the title. Uh, uh, Becky Lynch threw the title at her. And not only that, Becky Lynch and her people dragged Charlotte. And the funny thing about it, WWE did, did not punish them either, too. And you get where I'm coming from. Like, the way I see it, if you're not in WWE's crew, or you're not fit the WWE's agenda, and a WWE idea with them, you're not dumb. And they don't want nothing to do with you. That's what I see in this situation with the whole unfairness between race and a group thing. Like, your connection, your group. Like, for instance, if you ever been in college and you heard about the sorority and the frat, frat, frat party, right? If you're not a part of a sorority or frat party, you are isolated. People's not going to help you. If you're not part of a clique, people's not going to help That's how things is in college, but also in the real world. If you're not connected to anybody in a group of friends, you isolate. You, you, you know where near them. That's how it is. And Sasha Banks, she's the underdog. Like, she's trying to fight to make wrestling better again. Like, she go up to big. She begging big. Begging Vince McMahon to do this, to do that for the women's division. And you guys talking about she's selfish. There are stories about her helping the women's division. Improving the women's division. You could call her egotistical you want. But one thing for sure. She is passionate about wrestling. She's a few... Wrestlers, I would say wrestlers that care about wrestling and don't look at wrestling as a politician game or a business. She care about wrestling. 
She want to be seen as the greatest of all time. She's a few women wrestler that that put the blood, sweat, and tears to make women wrestling respected. If you have Shayna Baszler and other people in AEW show some show Sasha Banks love. Of her walking out. You see. What she's all about. That you could hate on Sasha Banks. You could love on Sasha Banks. One thing about her. That woman cares about wrestling. She loves wrestling. And the reason why. She walked out. For the first time. Let me speak about why she walked on the first time. And I'm going to go to why she walked out on the second time with Naomi. One. She. In the beginning. She left. Wrestling for the first first time. Like a take a hiatus. Because she lost the passion of wrestling. She lost the magic of wrestling. How the business the wrestling business got her pretty, like, down. You know, like, she keep losing. Um, she has to bury someone. She has to do this without no meaning and out no storylines. She just, like, there. And to think, if you're a long-time wrestling fan and you see the reality of uh, how the wrestling business business is how cutthroat, how the the man and they it the man and they it is. You understand what she go through. Like she grew up watching Stone Cold, The Rock, The Undertaker, uh, Lita, uh, list goes on and on. And then when she grow up and become a wrestler, and she see how wrestling really is. It break her, you know, and now fast forward later, it happens again. The producers, the writers doesn't see your input, your take. They look at you as an object. They look at you as a actor or an actress, not a wrestler. That break a person down. That make a person like, you know what? I'm done. And make a wrestler, matter of fact. A wrestler. Like, I'm a wrestler. I'm not no actor. I'm not no actress. I'm a wrestler. Wrestler supposed to entertain the people. Entertain the crowd. Like, bring that wrestling nature to it. And speaking of... WWE posting a bogus statement talking about oh this um this is like saying something about Sasha Banks and Naomi Naomi is unprofessional and we are actors and actresses who work on this program and we de- dedicate our life to this program. And and I felt like they, they were saying some bogus stuff. And I'm like, really? You're going to put that statement out there? And knowing that there are lots of wrestling fans who want to believe wrestling is real. Instead of fake. But then you want to po- post a this type of, oh God, (laughs) I'm just like, I understand why these wrestlers are depressed, these wrestlers are lost, these wrestlers doesn't have a voice in WWE, I understand why Sasha Banks unfollow. Most of the people in WWE, because I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you, 
some people have their own agendas about who they are and what their environment supposed to be. I feel like some people doesn't have the balls like Sasha Banks and Naomi to just stand up and walk up with their head held held high. You know what I mean? So I feel like right now I just wish Sasha Banks and Naomi the best of luck. Whatever happens, I wish them the best of luck because I feel like their talent, their self-worth could be somewhere else. They could do some better somewhere else. I could see Naomi and Sasha Banks go to stardom. Go to Impact Wrestling. Go to, wow, Woman of Wrestling. Like, even they could go to Hollywood, you know, because there are lots of people love Naomi and Sasha Banks. So, they they have a wins win, you know. I'm just kind of, I'm just going to put it out there. Sasha Banks and Naomi got a wins win because people like them. You know, even backstage, despite the false information from the WWE smear campaign, people loved them backstage, you know. But, however, I feel like there are some people, let me, I'm not going to say nothing, but anyway... This is Ty Williams, good day and goodbye.